We have one here from Billy via Instagram. My question is if, and this is, he, he like prepaid this or whatever. My question is, I think this is directed at, at us guys. If body count doesn't make a hoo-ha more loose, why does it matter? Wouldn't you rather be with someone that knows what they're doing versus a virgin acting like they're getting stabbed when you F them? I hate going slow during sex. This is a guy who never has sex, first of all. <laughs> um, so he's, he's kind of challenging, like, why men care about yeah. body count. I mean, it's kind of respectable because both goes both ways. I guess. But. Does it? Yeah. Well, it is. It is a myth. Seems like it's mostly concerned about like what, if women have a more like a higher body count than like if guys. It sounds like he's just got a preference for girls who are, have a high body count. And if he's that's experience. If, if that's how you, I wouldn't say experience. Yeah. I wouldn't say experience. He sounds like he wants to just go go hard at the, at the paint. That's what we say <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> yes. It. Yeah. Well, I guess he's like maybe he's been with a virgin and you know. Yeah. Maybe I think that like if you think about it, it sounds like he wants to. He's talking about a one night stand though. He wants to like, have a girl who can fuck. But like, you know, it's a bit different if you're looking at a long-term partner, you know, because you can... Right. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was saying, with a long-term partner, you can sort of, you know, she Figure becomes more experienced sexually, but only with you. Rattlesnake TV, Jake. Yes, sir. Even for a one-night stand, would you rather get with a girl who's a virgin or a girl who's slept with 50 guys? For Even virgin. if it's just a one-night stand. Virgin. Vir virgin? 100%. Why? Would you not feel bad taking her virginity for just a one-night stand? No. No, because if it was consensual, then if, they, if they get to choose. But the thing is... Better me than somebody else. Like, but who's going to... The thing is, like, the, it's going to sound harsh, but a lot of the time, guys are actually quite repulsed by, guy, by girls who have, like, a high body count. It's, not, it's something that's, like, we're in, internally, inherently very repulsed by. I mean, so. I'd, I, it's just kind of could go the same Youth, way beauty, and fertility. It think, could. I but think it, with not, women, it kind of comes down to... I mean, obviously, like, guys, like, when it comes to men... Um, courting women like the woman that like only a certain amount of men can get like it kind of shows the value of how many men she's allowed um, in her sp in her exactly it's a very attractive way. thing if you meet a girl who's got a, like a lot of self-control like that it makes you feel like you know that you've earned something you know and if, 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 you, if you don't feel like you've earned it then it's not really that special so but scarcity is, is important are you Supply saying that demand. like being on the other end of like you also have that same discipline or like you just expect that but you, you me me personally or are you talking guys in general i mean you at the moment since yeah you know, well you were asking for I've, i i probably was a little bit crazier back in the day these days i'm a little bit more sort of reserved about it but i don't think it is as big a problem for guys as it is for girls so if it was like if it was reversed and the girl that you were dating used to be a little crazier body count still there. it depends how crazy really it depends how crazy if we're talking if we're talking three if we're talking if we're crazy, if we're no you no hell no i wouldn't look at that no that's kind of crazy no it's but well, the thing is though men and men, men and women are different it's different standards that yeah. we're not the same I we have different things like for example i don't care how much money you guys make but women care how much money we make i care about your past you care about my future it's very different do you make a lot of money well, it depends what you consider a lot of money. Do you, well, do you like to spoil your girl? I don't have a girl, but if I did have a girl, yes, I'd spoil her. Okay, well, then I feel like that's why you don't care, because that's, like, that's your love language. What do you mean why I don't care? Like, that's why you don't care if they don't make enough money. But I think oh, most, no, no, no. No, most men in general yeah. are not really particularly preoccupied with the income that their partner makes. Right, because they I like to be in charge. Well, I think it just comes Not down to... Not necessarily, but... I think it just comes down to, like, kind of the different roles. I mean, it depends on, like, people... I guess how you feel about, like, more traditional gender roles, but even, like, from a biological standpoint, like, men are sure. more of, like, the protector and, like, caretaker and, like... Provider, have yeah. been The provider yeah. have, been, have been built to, like, take lead in that situation, which I think plays into, like, hmm. the whole Jonah Hill, Jonah Hill thing with, like you know, having like the man, like the woman more so stepping into the man's frame so that the man can take lead in the, in the relationship in that sense so that the woman like doesn't yeah. have to. It sounded to me like Jonah Hill was very much in a very feminine frame right. in that relationship. And he was saying, um, you know, I've been so vulnerable. I've been the best boyfriend ever because society has tricked him into thinking that being very vulnerable is the way to be the best boyfriend ever. And then he goes and identifies as a male feminist and he writes, he does an article with Vice saying how he wants to fight toxic masculinity and it sounds to me like he was just in a very feminine frame. So, Brittany, you had something? Are oh, you okay with a woman making more money than you? Because I, 
but I've gone on dates with guys that I made more money than, and I feel like it demasculates them. They can't right. handle it. Yeah. They can't handle it. And it's hard um, because usually I, we don't care. You go ahead, and, I, and then I'll answer. Um, it, 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 to be honest, it really depends. It's more of an attitude thing for me. Mm-hmm. Like, if, if she makes more money than me, but, like, the, the dynamics in the relationship are right, then it doesn't really matter. It's just, That's like, to be honest. in your face. Yeah, you know? but, if, if she, but if she makes something... Like, if I have a girl who makes a lot of money doing something that she's very good at, I find that very attractive. Mm-hmm. So I'm not going to be like, oh, she makes all this money, like, I'm, you know... Okay. If she, say, if she's, like, an artist or something like that and she sells her art for big money, mm-hmm. I find that very attractive. I, like, I find creativity and intelligence very That's attractive. Good. Yeah, um, it doesn't intimidate me if sh- a girl makes more money than me, although at this point in my life, that's a very small proportion that make more than I do. Uh, but uh, in the past, I've dated women who make more money than me. I don't, it doesn't bother me, but there can be some corresponding personality traits mm. that can come with hyper successful women. For example, I mean, to be successful in business, you need to be, there's a certain degree of cutthroatness. Cut. Like, for example, someone who's, no. who's uh, a lawyer temperamentally, whether you're a man or a woman, is going to probably lean towards being more disagreeable than like the average population. In order to be a lawyer, you, you have to be skilled in argumentation. Yes. So, I mean, a lawyer is going to fucking run to circles church. around you when it comes to like, you know, if you ever get into a fucking argument with your boyfriend or girlfriend, yeah. they're a lawyer, like, watch out. Not necessarily, but um, they're going to fucking like lay out, okay, here's the rules, here's the <laughs> laws and shit. Um, but... Uh, that's not always the case. There are some women who are hyper successful that are still feminine. Um, I think it. I think the thing with women who make a lot of money, I think it more so falls on women who do make a lot of money not finding men who who are not on their level attractive. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because, like for example, take a woman who's a lawyer, or take a woman who's like a successful businesswoman. She's probably not going to look at a guy who, as we said earlier, works at like a fast food restaurant and view him as a suitable mate whereas like a guy who's a guy who's an attorney will gladly date like a hot barista or like attictive you know she could be a college student or whatever so yo andy 